Very often, vlogs are boring, but I try to make it better, and this vlog is shorter than you think. I put some time annotations down here, so you can jump to the topic you're really interested in, and you don't have to listen to everything. I just preparing myself to leave for a whole week to go to spa, Turkish bath, sauna, massage, and yeah, for a whole week you will not see me here. Again, a welcome to all my new subscribers. I have now 18 new subscribers coming mainly from Christian, uh, so Tilson, from Dan from IHAS channel, and also from Dan uh, TOS 100, uh, the other side 100. <clears throat> so, be very welcome. I don't want to have a big exploding channel, but about three, five hundred subscribers, I think it would be really ideal for me, because I want to interact with you. I want to read your comments, and I want to answer to your comments. If I have more subscribers, it becomes anonymous, and I don't want that. I really want uh, an exchange. So please rate, sure, but make your comments, give me a statement. For this moment I must think that you agree with everything what I am doing, uh, because until now I have only thumbs up. <laughs> no, oh sorry, one. Since I am uh, now on YouTube, since I'm producing on YouTube, I have uh, only one thumb down. Uh, well, okay, uh, that's that's also a critic. I, I like that. I like that very much. I, I opened the bottle to say, "Wow, I have my first thumb down." <laughs> As you can see on some of my videos, I'm really not afraid to be ridicule. <laughs> uh, the video uh, in the bar, I, I post again the link uh, where I play the medium with the village idiot that will be also one of the figures i will develop maybe more in the future but leave me also your comment what you think about being ridicule or ridiculizing yourself so you as you see i don't take me myself very serious uh, when i'm doing this comedy it's really to enjoy life and to give some fun to people i think i i reached this goal but Leave me your comment, tell me what you think about uh, being ridiculed in video. Now a little word about Brother Dominic. Uh, I have very, very, very many sketches written, uh, which I have to turn with friends, but it's always a problem with uh, appointments. But I think I have a lot, a lot of ideas to develop very much more this figure and um, even to go more strictly inside uh, religious uh, topics uh, not as religious uh, as you uh, hopefully understand uh, there is uh, one thing uh, which I have some problems with brother Dominic uh, the last video uh, from uh, the Noah's Ark that uh, brother Dominic will prove I had some people commenting on my channel that it will not be possible. But trust me how I trust Brother Dominic. You will see what he will do to prove uh, that the Ark is true and the Bible is the real word of God. There is sometimes a very little path between satire and comedy. I put the link of a practical video down here uh, with Brother Dominic. Um, watch this video again and only imagine this video is comedy because I wrote at the end of this film a little phrase in the video. So now you take this same video without this written phrase and with the sound of a crying baby. It was somehow also my plan to do it, but after this I thought, no, I want to keep Brother Dominic a sympathetic monk, uh, 
and not uh, a satire. Maybe I need another uh, Catholic priest or something to go more in this satire. Watch the video and imagine what it might be with a baby crying at the end of this film. Aldous Valor against Snow Walker 1. Yes, I have to speak about it. Uh, it's uh, only because I really enjoyed uh, this, this kind of video battle and how many people were involved in it and how many people were motivated to go on and to, to join the one or the other group to make videos. It was really, really beautiful and many good quality films uh, have been made uh, about this, <coughs> this battle. Uh, I link my best film down there again uh, because I'm really proud of this film. It was, first of all, turned outside uh, with good material. I think also the editing with the music and everything was, was quite perfect. I'm, I'm quite proud of this film, uh, of this series. Um, why I enjoy it more uh, was I have my YouTube channel since August uh, 2008. I was only a watcher, like more than 80% of YouTubers, they are only watching, and I'm only posting films since uh, last December, so it's now two months only that I'm posting films. And I remember it was maybe one year ago or so, I watched a video battle like this uh, from some uh, people of Switzerland. And it was another topic, okay, they were fighting who has the best garden. And uh, this idea went over a whole year, one pwning the other, what mistake they make in the garden. And when you saw the evolution of this, this four guards, there were four people uh, fighting, making this video fight. After a whole year, when, when you saw what, what they made, that was absolutely beautiful. It was motivating for them and it was really interesting uh, for people to look. I hope that in the future there are other people uh, tagging me also uh, to, to join uh, a, a video battle like this. I find that was a really beautiful experience. It might be when it goes too long, it can be boring, but I really enjoy doing it. There is something which I think very much about. It's now, I have so many subscribers who subscribe to me uh, because of the comedy, but on my channel I have also videos with really more serious topics. I want to be involved more in the future about humanistic uh, topics. How I did before, uh, I have uh, some videos on uh, human rights. Um, uh, that is a real way that I want to follow more also in the future. But to find the right way to step from comedy to serious topics on this same channel, I still don't know how I gonna do it. Uh, any suggestions are welcome. I thought making a second channel for it, but no, this is me. And I have also my tragic side, how I have my comic side, and I hope that my comic side is more important than my tragic side. But I will fight for, uh, for it, and I will really be involved in fights when it's about human rights. There are people I admire very much. Those are people who make comedy, but they are always transporting inside the comedy a message. Uh, my, the first thing, uh, the first person I think on is uh, George Carlin. Uh, I think he made maybe more uh, for the advancement in humanitarian uh, topics and also in atheist topics than maybe uh, someone else, uh, like maybe a, a professor or some from a university who has not this audience uh, than a comic like uh, George Carlin had, uh, or uh, Tim Minson, or I think also Bill Maher, Omar, 
uh, that are really uh, people uh, which give me an example how to transport a serious message uh, with comedy. In human rights, I choose to look around what's about the human rights from the gypsy minority in Europe. It's not really easy to come inside this community, uh, to have people to trust or to trust me and to speak about it. Until now, unfortunately, I only encountered uh, clichés. And I don't want to speak about clichés, but uh, starting up with a historical background, about gypsies, about also the gypsies' history, about what they uh, lived during the Second World War um, uh, with the Nazis, and what are the living conditions they have today. So that will be one of the upcoming topics in serious human rights topics, but it will need more time than I thought. I have to make very much more investigations, I need very much more background information and I need uh, someone to introduce me in this com community to really speak as a, yeah, somehow insider. Um, well, that's something which is coming up very soon. Now a little message to Tattoo Skin 78 Michael, uh, I will link again your video down here. Uh, it's about the topic of man rape and uh, well I promised to make a video about it about what I uh, myself I have like experience but it's not that easy uh, first when I write something I write it in German or in French and then I translate it in English I did it. I had this text and I changed it 10 times. I read it maybe 20 times uh, before I change it. Um, it's not that easy. Sometimes time passed and you are quite happy that you forget things. And when after a certain time these things come back to your head, you will see that you haven't worked them as well as you thought. Uh, there is there are very much memories coming up again. I will certainly do it, but also for this I will need some time. But anyway, I think even in the next 10 years, this will be always a topic which, uh, which will not die. It will always be in the actuality. So I don't want to be hurry about this. So but I will certainly do it Michael. To Christina from Christina Peace. Christina, if you really want to come down here to Bulgaria to the Black Sea, you know you are welcome. If you need something to be prepared, only tell me I will prepare it for you and uh, organize everything that you will have a very very good journey here so I hope that I can see you very soon well I can not avoid to stop this uh, little video with well, a little comic <laughs> uh, I address me to Canadian atheist he made a beautiful video uh, showing uh, Canada the snow, everything white. I, I really liked this video and my idea was to make a, a video answer to him uh, to show uh, what a really shitty weather we have here. Uh, and I made this film, I guess it was on the 5th of February. Uh, so I say goodbye, leave me your comments, I'm really happy and look what I made for uh, Canadian Atheist. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>